The game is designed for a very wide audience. We've given great thought to the different types of gameplay which support the investigation. ABC murders represent about 10 to 12 hours of play. What are the different features offered by Agatha Christie, the ABC murders? The work done on the game concept was essentially work on the gameplay mechanisms which best enabled the portrayal of the person of Hercule Poirot, who is a relatively strong character with very pronounced personality traits. Hercule Poirot was such an intellectual character that it was necessary to intellectualize as much as possible the game's mechanics. Hercule Poirot is not very manual, and he's even ever so slightly affected. He does not handle many objects. Everything happens in his mind. We have the brain mode, which requires the player to choose the correct clues in order to answer a question. For example, what time was Mrs. Asher, the first victim, killed? He will have to use the clues he obtained from people, witness statements, or objects he found and analyze them in order to arrive at a conclusion. We have used the brain mode to illustrate Hercule Poirot's famous little grey cells that he boasts about so often in the novels. There is also a psychological aspect. This is Hercule Poirot's main asset. When he sees someone, he's able to deduce many things without even speaking to the person. This is portrayed through the summary mode that reveals Hercule Poirot's very sharp sense of observation. It illustrates the fact that he always has a slightly psychological analysis of the characters he observes. Thus, he is able to deduce whether the person he is speaking to is sad or if a comment or a remark has had an effect on him. We also have the interrogation mechanism, commonly found in investigation games, where you are face to face with a character and you have to choose the correct response in order to obtain the maximum amount of information. We also have a puzzle mechanism, in which objects are handled with a view to revealing the mysteries they hold. In ABC, there are many puzzles, more than 15. At these moments, the player will be required to interact closely with objects. The player will be faced with objects packed with tiny mechanisms, which once opened, become something relatively complex, as well as even smaller, more secretive objects, such as a box, which might in appearance seem to be very small, but, although we do not know what it holds, also proves to be filled with mechanisms. These puzzles will require several types of skills from players. Some puzzles are based more on observation, and you have to turn the object in all directions in order to find information or instructions engraved on it. There are also puzzles that require more thought, with enigmas helping you understand how a mechanism works in order to be able to activate it. All these puzzles can be found in the scenery and on a relatively large variety of objects.